Paigao is another really great casino game. Um, not very difficult to learn and lots of fun to play. Most people who learn to play it at a casino party are very quick to run to a card room or casino and put their new knowledge into practice. Pi Gal is one of my personal favorites to gamble for real money for when I do go to the casino. It's very simply played. Player makes a bet and for instances of example, we're going to have two players. The dealer has seven hands dealt out, each containing seven cards. The game starts, there are dice in the cup. The game starts with the dealer shaking the dice up, setting them down, and counting the total of the dice. And total of the dice here, if you can see them, is five, three, one, and one. And what that does is that tells the dealer which player is going to get the first hand. So dealer's always one, two, three, four, five, meaning this player gets the first hand. And then they are dealt out in succession, um, just like that. Dealer's hand is placed there, done with the dice until the next hand. Dealer picks up the cards for those hands not being played. So the idea is that a player gets seven cards and they need to make a high hand and a low hand. The high hand is five, is a five card poker hand and the low hand are the next two highest cards. Meaning that if I took all these cards and I put them in numerical order, I'm able to clearly see what I as a player would have. I've got three fours, a pair of aces, and a seven six. In order to win your bet, to get paid on your bet, you must beat both the dealer's high hand and low hand. To lose, the dealer must beat both your low hand and high hand, okay? I know that sounds confusing, but trust me, it is super easy. So for instances of setting up this hand, the best in this hand are the three fours, the three of a kind. So I'm going to take those cards and I'm going to put them down here in my high hand. My next two highest are my pair of aces. So I'm going to take those, put them in my low hand, and then the remaining cards go in the high hand. Okay. Coming along with this one, we've got the Joker. Joker is wild in Pi Gal, substitutes for an ace, completes a straight or flush. Again, you don't have to worry about that. Your dealer will teach you and um, how all this works. So I've got an ace joker that doesn't really work. So I've got kings, queens, ace, six, seven, six. So kings are my best. I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna put those in my high. My queens are my second best. So I'm gonna put those in my low. And then I'm going to take the other three cards and complete the five card high hand with them. Once everything is set like that, the dealer then opens their hand to see what they've got. And again, always putting them in order so as not to make a mistake. The dealer's best are the pair of twos. Second best, second highest are the queen 10. So the queen 10 moves up here to make the dealer's low hand. The twos come down here to make the dealer's high hand. Okay, this is what the players are playing against. So I come over here, I've got aces. Aces beat the queen 10 of the dealer's hand. And down here, I've got three fours. Three fours beats the dealer's pair of twos. So win-win results in getting paid. That hand is completed. Moving to the next one. Player's got a pair of queens. Pair of queens beats the queen 10 of the dealer's hand. And pair of kings on the high hand. Kings beat the dealer's pair of twos on the high hand. Resulting in a win-win for the player, the bet gets paid. Again, I hope this gives you enough insight into considering this game for your event. It's a ton of fun and again you will learn things that you can take directly to the casino 
with our knowledgeable dealer working your event. Thanks. Have a great one.